everyone welcome back to the next video in today's video i will show you how to uh, do the re required reason api as well as the new privacy api for your native ios application so let's get started so firstly uh, what this means is that if you are using uh, this kind of apis like uh, suppose disk space api so you can go through this documentation uh, disk space api user defaults api which is used for storing normal key value data the, then you will have to give uh, add this app privacy uh, plist file to your project as well that's what uh, these changes are about also if you are using any third party sdk so you can go over here and check if in your project if you are using any of this third party sdk then also you will have to make this uh, new privacy changes in your app um, also one thing to note is that if you have an app which is already using this uh, like this third party sdk or this uh inter this ios sdk or ios apis in your project if you already have an app uh, deployed then you won't have to do any changes but if it is a new app or if you are giving an update to an existing app and in that update you are trying to use this user defaults api like you are introducing uh this apis very first time in this new update or this third party sdk in your new update then you will have to create this new app privacy apis so yeah let's see how to do this also uh, one thing which i want to mention is that if any of you like is using this third party sdk typically it is the job of the uh, developer who has created this third party sdk to create this privacy policy or required reason api for you but in case uh, suppose i'm using this uh, api called firebase ab testing and it is not updated for the last four years uh, and if you are trying to use it in your new app or you are trying to update you, you trying to use it in a new update then you will have to uh, write those uh, privacy policy or this uh, required reason api for this particular library you will have to fork it uh, typically i will try to avoid using libraries which uh, don't have this privacy policy because it will cause a uh, more headache for you again now that choice is yours whether you want to use it or not and if you are using it you will have to provide this privacy policy uh, for this particular sdk as well so i will show you an example for user default so suppose if you are using user defaults in our uh, native ios application but it can be anything do go through this documentation on list of apis for which you have to provide this privacy policy so here i have just an empty uh, ios project i haven't done anything to it i haven't written any bit of code just all you have to do is just right click new file uh, just search for app privacy next S click on your target suppose if you have a widget kit extension uh, make sure you select that as well and click on create uh, then over here first we have to select privacy access api types so select privacy access api types okay it is uh, it takes multiple uh, items so uh, suppose uh, so in this example we are only considering user defaults right but if you have multiple apis which are under this privacy policy you will have to click plus you will have to add for item 0 item 1 but i will only show for uh, user defaults so all you have to do is do a plus privacy access api type okay so i'll just do plus privacy access api type uh, and here for user defaults here as you can see in the documentation they have specified use ns privacy access api category user defaults as the value for pri ns privacy access api type so i'll just co copy paste it over here as soon as i paste it here you can see it gets converted to user defaults automatically next is privacy access api reasons so i will just select this okay and now then can be multiple reasons for you as well but here i uh, typically user defaults might be used f for this particular reason again you will have to uh, go through the documentation on what is your reason for accessing the user defaults so i'll just copy paste this ca 92.1 and i'll paste it over here and as soon as i paste it here you can see it gets converted to user default user defaults this 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 okay so yeah okay, so next we need to generate the privacy report so here is a typical report from back backyard birds for which is an apple uh, created app so this is how it looks like 
so you need to go through this documentation again on uh, checking what all data you are you of data uh you are using of the user so suppose contact info health and fitness uh financial info uh, location all that kind of stuff so uh, i will uh, uh concentrate on health and fitness so all you have to do is you will again have to go to your uh privacy info file and here you will have to click on this plus button again uh, privacy nutrition uh, label types and here uh just click on uh, this okay over here and inside over here we have to add collected data type so it uh, so this all things are already present uh, again if you have multiple things like if you are also accessing the financial info you will have to click on this plus button and you will have to add item one as well okay uh, next uh, so collected data type so all you have to do is so suppose if i'm accessing health and fitness health i'm accessing this data type so i can just copy paste this uh, i will just paste it over here and it gets automatically converted to health okay now whether it is linked to user user for tracking it will depend on your app so select uh, yes or no accordingly i'll just select yes for this and keep it this as no now for collection purposes again uh, you have to give a reason for this and there are a handful of reasons uh, again in the documentation itself you will have to scroll down to the documentation and out of this reason you can give any one of this reason so i'll just cre cre click uh, like copy paste this product personalization reason if you have multiple reasons you can give it over here as well and here you can see it gets automatically converted to product personalization now all you have to do is just click on product uh, archive and once your uh, app has been archived uh, you can uh, download your privacy report uh, from that particular archive as well so i'll just uh, show you that as well so here you can see all i can do is just click on uh, right click uh, sorry right click over here generate privacy report and you can save it wherever you uh, like uh, the privacy report would be something like this so yeah that's it thank you for watching bye